Hey guys, welcome back. Happy Snee Day. Yes, that's right. The, the large majority of this video is going to be focusing in on Snee, the one that, uh, the, the, the girl, the woman that uh, decided it was a good idea to swap out a card on a, I guess, the energy. Uh, we found out later that uh, seemingly the entire group of them uh, know how the energy mapping works. The energy mapping being there's a certain pattern of energies. If you open certain products of Pokemon cards, the energies go in a certain order uh, more often than not. Uh, some of the products are hand-packed, so there are a little bit of inconsistencies uh, with that. And yes, you might have noticed that on the, the left-hand side of your screen, there is a time lapse of a stream, at least the first hour of a stream. Uh, we're going to call that into question. We're going to do the math on that. Don't worry, but I'm going to give you a little bit of a rundown on what's going on there. We're going to look at, she did another swapperoo. We She did the same swapperoo. She did the same uh, reseal, the vivid voltage nonsense. We're going to take it. We're going to take a look at that evidence. And I got some other little surprises for you guys. So sit back, relax. Yes, we are on to episode is it episode seven. We're getting closer and closer to 69. I know a lot of people are waiting for that, that episode 69. I know, uh, I, I think Blake said that he was waiting. Uh, it was supposed to be a week for this to blow over. So we're going to try to see if we can make it go longer than a week uh, just to just to make sure that, uh, that it does not blow over. Uh, and I appreciate everyone that's sharing these videos. Uh, anyone that's uh, spreading, spreading the word. I think it's important that we drive this home. And I'm going to drive this home so hard that they won't even see it coming. All right, so what's going on in the video here? This stream, she goes 34 packs at the beginning of the stream with no hits. I'm talking no EXs, no illustration rares, nothing. A whole lot of nothing. And if you, if you guys know how hard that is to do, it's pretty flipping hard. Uh, she even has to start explaining herself and shows the bin of the packs next to her. That's what when, when she pans over uh, because people seemingly start to get suspicious. I mean, they probably should. Uh, when you got a bounty, you got a someone that's pulling packs from off screen. You got a bin, uh, the manipulation bin. Uh, I want to I want to ask you guys, what do you think? Is this the dreaded loaded or unloaded bin strategy uh, that we've seen? Copyright 2023, a Blake's Breaks G Baller Strategy Guide Section 1.2. Is that what we're looking at here? Uh, you know, the old manipulating the odds by adding or not adding packs to something, uh, depending on what was pulled, uh, whether you pulled certain hits, whether you pulled hits or not pulled hits out of the bin. Uh, you, you either water it down, you water down the donair sauce, or you don't water down the donair sauce. And uh, yes, it is that is sketchy. That is in itself enough uh, to, I, I think, be called out for a manipulation, whether or not you knew what was in the packs. Uh, if you're trying to make the, the tote or the hits better or worse, uh, based on adding or removing packs, setting packs aside, and putting those into another area uh, where you want to either have things hit more or less often, you're gaming the system, you're scamming people, uh, you're playing with the odds, and you should not be doing that. There's a clear reason why you don't tell people that you're doing that, but you're doing that behind the scenes, uh, and uh, that's not cool. I, I shouldn't have to tell you that that's not cool. It's, it gets much worse than that uh, with the clearly opened packs, uh, with the swapping packs when you have them mapped out and know what the energy is to prevent people from winning. Their 1 in 8 chance is no longer a 1 in 8 chance. We, we showed that last time. But uh, but yeah, it's also important to note here that Scarlet and Violet Base is a very weighable. Uh, so the bin manipulation isn't even necessarily needed. They don't need to like water down the bin uh, in any way. They can just, if they wanted to, they could just weigh the packs. They could take the good packs and have them set aside. I'm not saying that they're not going to give you hits because I think it's pretty clear. Uh, they want to be giving you hits in a lot of these streams. Uh, they don't want to, they're, they're only stealing from you a little bit. If they, I know it sounds pretty bad. They're only stealing from you a little bit. Uh, if they're taking out like the big hits, like the ones that are even worth stealing, I guess at that point in time, they've said it. Many people have said it that they don't have time to waste on that sort of thing. So I think it's like a broader, it's a broader quick scam that they're trying to do here. Uh, the Vivid Voltage, uh, I don't know what's going on with the Vivid Voltage. I'm looking into that right now. It seems like the Vivid Voltage, they might have had a bunch of loose packs. Uh, and that's why she had to put them into booster boxes. This is one. This is this is what I'm thinking. We got we got a theory craft a little bit here. Again, guys, I'm going with whatever information is available to me. Blake, 
you are very welcome to talk to me at any point in time to explain any of this. Uh, I mean, you took the initiative to DM me. You took very long to answer all of my DMs. You spent a whole lot of time crying by yourself on a stream. If you'd like to just talk to me, I can ask you some questions. You can you can tell me what's going on here, what what the deal is, uh, if any of it is a misunderstanding. Uh, if the whole, I, I, was, I fired Snee, but I didn't fire Snee. She was going to work behind the scenes because it was going to blow over in a week. I want to know all about that. If you can just talk to me about it, I think that would be very manly of you. It's weird that you're such a pussy wussy. Uh, for a, a big, strong football player. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Uh, I'm just little rattle Pokemon here. Surely you can have a conversation uh, and explain how th all of this just keeps looking worse and worse. Because it, it does. It looks bad. It all around looks bad. And it's not just me. Uh, it's it, You did it. You, you had the same patterns on your stream. It looks a whole lot like you were trying to change up those patterns when people got on you. It looks a whole lot like your team... Uh, has been conspiring to do certain manipulation tactics, uh, and uh, it's not—it's not good. It's not—it's—it's it's absolutely not good. Uh, and uh, yeah, whatever you want to claim that you built or whatever, it seems like you went ahead and and destroyed it. You you went ahead and destroyed it by getting very greedy. That's what it looks like to me. I mean, again, if you'd like to talk to me and explain how that's not it, uh, then uh, and you have every opportunity to do so. I am very open to uh, to being wrong about any of these aspects, uh, but I am going to give my finest to find, you know, uh, opinions on a lot of this stuff. And I appreciate everyone that is sending me information uh, or combing through the many streams that are still available publicly. Um, it's a shame that everything older than that is not, but uh, thank you to everyone. I will get to all of the messages someday. Uh, I am extremely backlogged. So if you have anything mega urgent to the extreme, make sure you get onto the Discord uh, and you at me in general chat. Tell me that you got something urgent and I'll and I'll check your DM a little bit faster. If it's not urgent, I will get to it. I promise. Someday. All right. Now the um, the if you guys can see and you can rewatch it, uh, the sped up version. You can slow it down or pause it or whatever. The majority of the packs are coming from off camera, as as per usual with uh, with Snee. I guess with with most of them. Uh, with the most of the the Blakers, uh, they they like to take stuff off the screen or introduce it from off the screen. Uh, and with the techniques that look like are taking place here, with the energy mapping uh, and or with the open bottom vivid voltage packs, that's not good. That's not a good sign. So yes, she could easily make it hit or not hit whenever she feels like it. Uh, whether or not that is the process that takes place, that always takes place, that is definitely a huge potential that's going on here um, on, on each of those packs that come off the screen. Uh, so we got to ask, does she have some sitting next to her? Are they organized next to her? With the energy swap thing that we've seen uh, now twice, uh, so before I guess she was like, oh, I was tired, it was eight hours, and oh, we'll, look, we'll take a look at that too, the statement. Uh, not to mention the fact that we are going to look at uh, or we're going to listen into a phone call. I uh, will warn you, she does cry. She's going to cry on camera on, on the video. Uh, she cried on, on the phone with me uh, saying it wasn't her, that it was a one-time thing, that she was tired and something, 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 messed up. But um, no, you messed up again. You've done this several times. You're caught several times now uh, with open packs, swapping packs, open and swapping packs. Uh, this is this is not a one and done thing. This is clearly intentional. Uh, we're going to take a look at the math again today to see exactly what the odds are of you uh, doing something shady at the beginning of this one. I feel like not enough people uh, know how to do that or looked into that. So we're going to continue that uh, that little series for all you math junkies. <laughs> you should be pretty excited for this one. I didn't think so many people would be excited about that. I knew I was going to trigger myself with the last one because I'm going to have people in the in the description that are like, no, your math, it is wrong. It is actually one in 69.69420. Uh, and uh, no, it wasn't as memey as that. They, they weren't joking. I'm, because I promise you that's the actual statistics behind it. I would not lie to you. I, I did take a, a fair bit of that stuff. Blake probably did too, actually. He went to go to Stanford? He went to Stanford. So he should, he should know how to do math as well. Unless, I don't know, maybe he took like English and history or something like that. I have no idea. I have no idea what he took. Maybe I have to look into that too to see if he's he's some kind of like mastermind statistician. 
uh, that's gonna gonna dupe all the all the uh, whatnot customers. So where are we at here? Um, I, I'm, I heard uh, if anyone has footage of or photos of. Apparently, she used to have a side camera, but got rid of it. Uh, I'm kind of wondering why that is. Wink. I'm not wondering why that is. I can kind of kind of pretty much put two and two together here. Speaking of math. Uh, so the objective in the bounty uh, is to pull, I think it's to pull a Maridon or a Coridon full art gold card or SIR. Yes, they're pretty hard to pull. Uh, so it makes sense that she got a big bounty. She's like really eager at the beginning of the stream to add stuff to the bounty because I guess she's trying to get the prices up and she knows that it's not likely to hit. So she's, she's trying to, she's trying to get, she's trying to get interest here. Um, um, yes, those are all textured cards that I just listed off, and those all can be weighed out of the packs. That, or uh, if a lot of those textured cards have been weeded out of the bin, remember that bin that the Blakers like to have loaded or not loaded, uh, depending on how how loaded or not loaded or how many pits have come out of it, they like to add packs or not add packs. That's the excuse for it. Apparently, that's the technique, and that's the, uh, the shenanigans going on with that. Uh, now, if it goes beyond that, like open bottom packs, it, it's not going to surprise me or mapped packs, that kind of thing. Not going to surprise me again. Um, and yeah, if you, if you pull the big hits, there's only you're only going to get a two uh, combination of gold and, and SIRs uh, out of your out of your booster box. I, yes, there are exceptions to that rule. But for the most part, that's how it works. Uh, I would imagine it's a similar ratio uh, for your sleeved, sleeved blisters and, and stuff like that. So even if they were doing it with something else, if they saw all of a sudden pull a bunch of those out of there, they know they got some some duddlers. They got some duddler packs. All right. So people seemingly aren't uh, paying as much as she wants for the packs. So she could uh, be uh, dishing out the hollows for that reason. Maybe she's grabbing from the bin. Maybe the bin is like crappy, crappy dappies. Uh, or mostly crappies, uh, and uh, yeah, I don't know if she's looking to build or justify higher prices because the hits are are supposedly all left in the bin. The the bin's got to get good eventually, right? After after somebody opens all the crappy stuff, uh, but maybe it's just so crappy that it's it's gonna be crappy for a, a a very long time. So the biggest thing here is something like thirty minutes goes by uh, for her to hit an EX, just a regular EX. Again, no illustration rares; those are nowhere to be found, um, which is very weird. I'm not saying that it can't happen; just the likelihood of it happening, uh, and with the scenario and the stuff that is hidden from screen here, and the stuff that we know about the other uh, shenanigans that are going on. I I think this is uh, worth taking a look at. Um, and okay, we'll, we'll finish the summary here and then it's math class. After an hour in, she was forced to open a sealed booster box. Uh, an hour in of hitting, uh, I, I guess, just the one full art. Uh, but then she puts the, um, she, I guess she was, she was forced to open a sealed booster box. That's going to happen post, post video here, post uh, speed up. Um, but she, uh, she puts, she's, she's forced to open a sealed booster box. It might be at the tail end. She's forced to open a sealed booster box. Uh, but then she puts that box off camera and packs only come from off screen. Uh, you never see the open booster box that she's supposedly pulling from. So like, again, there's a, it's not like there's a lack of space. There's always lots of space in front of her. She can stretch her arms out, like stretch Armstrong, give herself a reach around and still have more arm length and space to, to go. Like, there's always more space. She'll claim, like, oh, I don't have enough space here, but I gotta have my, my guess the energy, like, centered or something. I have no idea. Uh, we're, we're, it's, it's, it's pretty bad. It's, it's always getting, it's getting worse. Every video that I make here is getting worse, uh, and we're gonna keep making them. Yes, my apologies for anyone that doesn't wanna keep watching them, but we're gonna keep making them because they are important. We're gonna drive this home to the fullest extent, and I, I thank you guys for coming along for the ride. Holy moly, I almost forgot to do the very scientific, very technical aspect of the video. That is right, it is statistics with Rattle. Uh, today we're gonna get into what the stats are on the uh, 34, oh my god, I don't even have my pen, my, my crayon ready. 
We need red. Uh, red is always the way to do it. You can know if someone is a real professor if they use red because they're always correcting things and there's no better color to do it in. So what do we have? 34 packs in a row of pal... No, it was Scarlet, Scarlet and Violet Base. Oh, I almost slipped up there. You almost got me. You could have pulled one over on old Professor Rattle, but you can't. We got 34 packs without a hit. Uh, and when I say without a hit, I mean no EXs, no illustration rares of any kind. That is very hard to do. Uh, we're going to use the same technique as before. So uh, if anyone knows or has watched my openings, my mega super openings to the extreme, it's pretty much a one in three uh, on these Scarlet and Violet sets in order to get a, an EX or an IR or better. Your full arts, your gold cards, your hyper rares, I guess they're called now. All of that fun stuff. There's a one in three chance of getting something out of your pack. I mean, sometimes you get a double banger. Sometimes you don't. But one in three is the average. Now, we're going to work backwards once again. I'm going to go through this. I know people don't like to understand it. Some people do understand it. Some people don't understand it. Let me know if you understand it down below. Uh, but essentially, we are going to, for that 34, we're going to take two out of three, which is our chance of being a loser. I know it sucks. We have a better chance of being a loser than a winner, uh, but uh, but that's just is what it is. We're going to take two thirds and we're going to multiply itself by itself. We're going to multiply itself by itself 34 times. So uh, essentially, uh, two thirds to the power of 34 is going to give us our total odds of this happening 34 times in a row. We, we got that, guys? Do we got that? Yes, it is going to be a crazy small number. Let's check it out with the supercomputer. I know you guys love the supercomputer. Okay, supercomputer is all warmed up. Yes, it is unlike other computers. It likes to be warm rather than cold. So we're going to take two thirds to the power of 34. I had three there, 34. We want to make sure it's 34 because it was 34 packs in a row. So again, it's going to be two thirds is our chance of losing or chance of not getting a hit. And we're going to multiply that by itself for the number of times that it doesn't happen in a row. That is going to give us the probability of that event, those that series of events happening. We're going to hit enter. We are going to get, oh my goodness, once again, it is a teeny tiny to the extreme number. Uh, we might have to bring this over this way a little bit. And I'm going to have to make sure when I'm editing that I don't cover up the beautiful uh, stream that is on the left hand side. That is definitely not a scam. Uh, but uh, here's what we have here. 0 0.000001 uh, is the probability. P equals. That's what we got. But we multiply. If we want a percentage, we're going to multiply that bad boy by 100. And uh, I got news for you. Just because we multiply it by 100 is not going to make it any better, any easier. Uh, so, yes, once again, we are using statistics uh, alongside the evidence of pack swap aronies, of open bottom packs to, to, to just dismantle this absolute clown show, whatnot, Blakey Breaky heart. Yes. That is the percentage that's on screen here. That is the percentage chance that Snee would go 34 packs in a row without pulling an IR, an EX, or anything better than those. 0.0001%. Yes. Again, once again, I'm, I'm going to go ahead here. Uh, I liked the, the comments last time. I, I really enjoyed the... Uh, I should be saying that I'm 99.9999% sure that this was a scam uh <laughs> if we're talking if we're talking in percentages we might as well why not guys uh hopefully that was helpful uh and hopefully i man I, i'm surprised more people didn't complain that we were doing math i didn't even get i don't think anyone even called me a nerd like I said, we're going to avoid recaps as much as possible, but we are going to take a quick look at a couple clips for context because these are the same things that seem to be happening over and over again with Snee. And I, I hope you guys are watching this before we listen to the phone call to know how fake the tears are, both from Blake and from our girl Snee. These are these is, these are egregious. Take a look at this. This is the uh, from the previous video. If you missed it, if you need a reminder, uh, the bottom of the Vivid Voltage packs are not sealed. It seems to be a theme. We're going to be taking a look at another clip. It seems to be a repeating, revolving. They're using the same scams over and over and over again. Uh, and the more that we see it, the more that we see it the first time, the easier it is to spot it the next time. And that's what we're doing today. 
Now, a quick glance at the uh, switcheroo that kind of sparked everything. Keep an eye on the pack on the bottom right-hand side here. Uh, that is the one that she is going to swap out. Again, she's playing Guess the Energy game. So the uh, the customer likely guessed the correct energy. What, they knew what was going to be in that last pack there. It was going to match. She was going to have to pay out a jumbo make wumbo bounty that she did not want to pay out uh so instead of doing so uh she just decides to give it the old uh, swoop and uh she gone swapped out pack um again she's gonna claim that she's tired and all this other junk but it uh, no that was that was definitely a deliberate swapperino uh we've seen it we've seen it a million times everyone's posted it ever in existence uh, and i would like to thank her for uh, screwing up so bad that it was brought to my attention. It is uh, very nice of her to do so. Um, again, I, I don't I don't understand how you thought you weren't going to get caught on this eventually as doing something as egregious as that. And clearly they didn't plan it out beforehand. Um, they, they got cocky. They, in typical Blakey-wakey fashion, they got cocky uh, and they got caught. So uh, here we go. We got another little, little, little tidbit here. Uh, let's see if I can... Uh, I'm going to have to make sure that I got the, uh, the volume cranked to the dog and hopefully it's at the correct level uh, we're gonna have to do some editing here uh to make sure the, uh, the the tunes i will i'm gonna try my best to upload the entirety of the audio to twitter i'll do that a day after the youtube videos go up just for reference if anyone wants to uh re-watch any of those sections that'll be an easier way to do so rather than me like sending the clips i do have the clips on hand but oh we have a new player in the game we have a new player in the game. AGH, what we doing? Again, the packs are always coming from off camera. Notice how the bottom's never on camera or is avoiding avoiding being on camera. And she uh, she just gives a little she gives a little <laughs> nudge there. We're gonna give it a little nudge. Um, because uh, that's not AGH, the one that we want. We're, we we're playing. We're playing. Guess the energy. There's the the pack coming onto the screen, uh, and there's the old nudge it off. Give it a little nudge off of there so that you have to go back and grab it again. Uh, you, you can you can do this a couple times and probably get away with it and use the excuse like oopsie doopsie. I didn't mean to like purposely nudge it exactly off the screen um, that she can see. Like, there, there's all kinds of, there's a, there's an entire desk there. You could write a full memoir and still have space. Uh, you could, you do a lot of activities on that desk. Uh, one of them is, uh, you do not need to kick that pack off the side of there. That is definitely a swapperino. Allegedly. Probably. Uh, that's, that's my thoughts. Again. Take this as you will, with what you will, how you will. We got Swapperoo Part 2 Electric Boogaloo. We got Johnny Truant from the Discord who posted this one. Uh, thank you very much, Johnny, uh, for uh, for being on the lookout. Thank you to all the new members of the Discord. Uh, anyone that is sending clips, that is looking through footage and looking for this and this uh, nefarious activity, uh, thank you very much, every single one of you. Let's uh, let's play this clip. This one's bad. For twenty bucks. For twenty bucks. For twenty dollars. For okay. twenty dollars. So. I'm gonna I'm gonna pause this for a second. Notice how she's holding that vivid voltage pack from the bottom. Remember, the uh, the vivid voltage packs that are not sealed on the bottom. Now there could be many reasons for this. Um, I'm under the impression that they got a bunch of vivid voltage uh, loose packs and were unable to map them. So they decided, hey, we'll just uh, we'll just open the bottom, right? We we'll just open the bottom up and then we can see what energy is in there. We can play the guess the energy game. We can play the match the energy game because we can set them all up beforehand. The booster box can be preloaded to look like it's a booster box. I'll open it off camera and uh, and everyone will totally believe me now. If you don't, if, if you don't see it, don't worry. Uh, I'm gonna play it through. Um, we got some 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 damning images from the uh, the screen recording here. So she's giving it the old wave around. You know, she's Mod holding it on the bottom. She's holding it on the bottom because it's not sealed on the bottom. They're too lazy to even reseal the packs. They just repack them. Again, hiding the bottom. And uh, floop. Ooh, fire energy, eh? You guessed the wrong one. I wonder if it would have been electric in that other pack. Ooh, no, no. Play with that little pack there. Play with that little pack. Yeah, give a little tap. That's the one that you should open. 
Like this is this is painful. There's so many examples. You messed up time and time again, and you have the nerve to cry to me on the phone. You fucking losers. For 20 bucks. For 20 bucks. For 20 dollars. Blake has the, the nerve to say that it's it's for it's for family. It's for everything else. Give me yeah, your little not sealed on the bottom pack, a little wave, wave, wave it around. Why don't you? Ripping people off, absolute shame, shame on these people. Uh, so if you didn't if you didn't see it uh, in the video there, and uh, thank you very much to uh, Marquis B. Hopefully that's how you pronounce his name. Uh, he, uh, he he noticed that the the pack is a, it's not sealed on the bottom. So we got we got, we got the, the bottom flap. That's why she's holding it from the bottom. That's why she's always holding the cards in there. Uh, they were too lazy to reseal the bottom of the packs. They could have done that, uh, and it would have been much harder to tell. Uh, but uh, yeah, there's the exploit once again. Same exploit. Here's another image uh, where you can see it a little little bit more different open, uh, but very very open. Nonetheless, unreal, absolutely unreal. And final clip, we have, uh, again, this is another example of them basically just no one wins, no one wins, no one wins, no one wins, or sometimes a little, there's a little bit, there's a little dazzle of win, there's a little drizzle, uh, but this is another one of those match the energy games where he, she basically goes through the entire list of energies uh, and, and until someone actually gets the, the match. So let's, uh, let's play this. This is the pack you pass on. And sometimes they'll give you a selection at the end because it doesn't matter at that point. It is important to note, though, that uh, that they have a, an increasing price that keeps going up and keeps going up as it gets closer and closer because you're allowed to match any of those energies, not just the one. Thank God. So your odds should be extremely, extremely, extremely good. Unreal. Unreal. Another, they're doing the same scams. They have their scammer meetings uh, and they're scamming every single day. Uh, I I feel for anyone that was buying into this crap, and I hope that you get a refund. This is, is that's what it comes down to. Uh, this is disgraceful. Uh, you knew what you were doing. This was this was premeditated, pre-scheduled, pre. You're all doing the same thing. You're all doing the same scams. It's just over and over again. You can I, oh oh I did I was tired and I meant to move the pack. No, you weren't tired. You meant to move the pack. You moved the pack because it was the winning pack. You ripped that person off directly. Uh, and anyone else that would have won in their place, whether they if they if they guessed right, if they had no one had the chance to win, if you didn't want them to have the chance to win, is basically what it comes down to. And uh, the the whole Blakey Blakey Wakey Bo Bakey uh, scenario where he's saying you don't there's no way to know what's in a sealed pack. Well, guess what? Your vivid voltage packs are not sealed. Uh, those are those are open from the bottom. And if whatnot can't see that, uh, if everyone else that's watching can't see that, and I hope that anyone that bought Vivid Voltage from you uh, within the, the last, I don't even know how long this has gone on for, um, I don't think you're safe with anything that came from them uh, from even as far back as November because it seems like that was that was the, the crackdown. That was the, all right, guys, it's time to rip some people off. It's time to let it rip uh, and, uh, and not Beyblade fashion. All right, so it is statement time, and then we're going to get into the phone call again. You're going to listen to the phone call. It's going to be a little bit ridiculous. There is some crying. I do kind of feel bad at that point. This was quite a ways back, uh, and uh, before we had a, a lot more evidence. So there was there was a shadow of doubt in in the back of my mind. I was like, well, maybe you know what? Maybe maybe we gotta we gotta see if it was really if it was really that was it a one-off oopsie doopsie mistake just a careless mistake that was made or are we gonna make seven videos and keep going probably till oblivion and uh and 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 just more more and more just blatant examples in my opinion of of cheating customers of stealing money from them of convincing them that the odds are something that they're not it is it is shameful Shame on you, Snee. Shame on Blake. Shame on everyone else that was involved. Uh, pretty much the whole crew, it looks like, at this point in time. There's a reason why none of them want to talk to me. None of them want to denounce the, the bad actions uh, that are involved, that are being shown in the videos here. Uh, it, it's... <laughs> I mean, can you make it any more obvious that you're all kind of in on it? You're doing the same scams. You're doing the same scams. You all know about the scams. There's, there's chats where you're talking about the scams. All right, Pokesney saying hi, everyone. 
Oh, wait, I guess we should give her the French. I don't know what a French cowgirl accent would be, so we're just going to use French cowboy. Hi, everyone. I'm sure many of you have seen the post, and I just want to state that I had absolutely no malicious intent during this stream or any of my whatnot shows over the past two years. I don't know. We've looked at some pretty good examples of the opposite of that today in this video alone. I would never want... I'm, I'm, I'm sure there's more to come. I would never want to do anything that would jeopardize my spot in this community and especially Blake's Bre Blake's breaks. So weird. Um, okay, so I guess we're like prioritizing your um, you over the customers. That's pretty standard. Standard issue for a, a Blaker. This incident happened after eight hours of my last live stream, and I was not thinking about how this could have looked from a viewer's perspective. So wait, how it, was it? So it wasn't an accident. You just swapped it, and you. This is kind of contradictory. I just already had the pack in my hand and moved the other pack off screen and thought this was okay as they're all random and sealed. They're not random and sealed. And you guys will notice immediately talking to her on the phone and looking into it a little bit more. She lets slip a little bit that she's got the old darkness ablaze sleeved boosters. And guess what? Those are mappable AF and the same thing that we saw used by Plugs. Plugs was using them to scam. You were using them to scam. I, I can't see it being anything else. There's too many coincidences here. I was not trying to hide this at all. But I absolutely see how it looks on video. And want to state that it was absolutely not my intention. After the incident, I opened the second pack. The previous pack on the table. And both packs contained the same energy. I, it would be great if you could prove that, but you can't. You took it off camera. Even if you brought another one on camera, how do we know you don't have some loaded behind you in stacks that you know which energy is in which pile? Like, it it can be very orchestrated, and it looks very orchestrated, uh, because you, you can't just, you can't give this stuff away. It's like the one in eight guess the energy game. If you're doing that with the, the amount of stuff that you're doing and you're doing it in an honest way, you are going to hemorrhage money. The fact that you're scamming people, that you're you're deceiving people into thinking that it's an honest game and that it's not rigged, that the, the, the energies are not going to match the next one unless you want them to, or the fact that you're just going to swap out a pack if they guess the right energies... Like, what do you, like, the games don't even make sense. They're not profitable. They're very profitable when you're scamming people. They're not profitable. We've seen the math. We've done the math. It's all there. This is, you did it. Just own it. And anyone else that's not involved should have. The problem is they're all doing the same thing. So they can't be like, oh, yeah, so-and-so was definitely scamming. Because if you're doing the same thing, you're going down with the ship. A 1.5k bounty was hit on the first pack of GTE, etc. So again, guys, we know it. They they always they like to hit one early when it's nice and nice and easy. And again, do we know if it went to an actual winner? If you're gonna rip somebody off on one aspect, it wouldn't surprise me if you're doing it in other ways. But even if they're not, they're taking enough money from the other people throughout the stream. That, that part doesn't matter. They don't need to take advantage that way. They don't need to take the hits out of the packs. They just need to know what the energy is because that's where the money's made. Especially on those last energies. Those last energies, like big bucks, as there's more and more that you can match because the odds should be very good. But they're not because it's rigged. Until there's like the last three. Then, then they'll be like, oh yeah, pick any of these three packs because at this point we don't care if you win because we've already milked all of you with our scamps. After looking back, that action of not just putting down my pack to grab the other was lazy of me and I jeopardized the trust of our buyers. Yeah, you tried to hide the pack. The same way you tried to hide the pack by sliding it off the screen uh, when you were writing the name on the slip or, or on the, uh, the, the team bag. The same thing. The same thing with the other pack that you'd, you kind of left the other one on screen too long. But it, what the hell? Blake and the team have built up an incredible business. I don't want this action from a viewership perspective to impact livelihoods. Oh, and here we are again. It's for the family. And especially the business Blake built up. Well, it has it has impacted livelihoods because you're stealing from people. Not to mention the livelihoods where Blake is going to promise people shit and then not deliver. 
It's it's not about family. You're full of shit. You're all full of shit. It is a fucking number one scammer excuse. It's for the for the kids, for the family, for this than that. No, it's fucking not. You're full of shit. It's a business, and it's a crooked business. I'm so sorry about this entire situation and just wanted to make a post to address this directly. No, you're sorry you got caught. You're sorry. You're all sorry you got caught. The same way that Blake was crying. He probably, maybe they were real tears. Maybe they were real pussy wussy tears that he was crying, but he wasn't doing it because he was worried about families. He's worried about himself. He's worried about getting caught. He's not in the NFL anymore. And now if he's shafted for shafting other people, then good. Get shafted. Motherfucker. You deserve it. You don't rip people off. I don't care. I don't. I, f- I feel no sympathy for you when you don't feel sympathy for other people. And that's just it. Have a listen to the phone call here. Uh, enjoy. Remember, they're fake tears. Uh, don't, uh, don't feel bad. Hello. Hello. Is this Marissa? Who is this? It's Mike. I go by Rattle Pokemon online. Yes. I just I just want to uh, have a conversation sorry. with you if it's okay. I just think it's probably a good idea. Um if you want to clear your name. Um I'm sorry, who is this? It's it's Mike, Rattle Pokemon. I make YouTube videos. Uh, but okay. uh, I'm kind of looking into the, the incident that happened on stream. And I just mm-hmm. wanted to uh, to hear your side of the story. Um, I don't have too much time right now. I have only a few minutes, but... Okay. I, well, mostly, if, if I just want to get to the point, I feel like maybe you were put up to it. And so uh, absolutely I just... not. I, I okay. want to make this very clear. Yeah. Um, Blake had no involvement in any of the streams we run our own personal streams whatever the games we want to do whatever okay. anything we want to do it's so all it... to us i was not put up to anything um and i i just want to make that very very clear okay uh there was absolutely no involvement with blake um and the entire incident it was absolutely on me i was lazy and didn't put it out down the pack in my hand and i absolutely see how that looks on camera mm-hmm. um and, and i 100 percent understand um kind of the, the backlash that i've been getting for this um and and kind of just my side of things i had a pack in my hand already um and and i saw the pack was on screen this was after an eight hour show um so i i was lazy i just moved the okay. pack out of the way on the screen and opened the pack and i absolutely 100 percent see how it looks um, but that was not my intention at all. I've, I've been a whatnot streamer for, um, sorry. No, it's, I've been a whatnot streamer it's okay. since the beginning. And um, I've never had an incident like this, and it was not my intention. I didn't want to, um, you know, make people not trust me in the platform or Blake, and that was not my intention at all. Um, and I, I'm just very sorry about the whole thing. It was not my intention to make someone not win or know what's inside none of the, all the packs are sealed um every single pack is sealed um those were from flush, fresh blister cases that i was opening behind mm-hmm. camera let everyone know that i was opening them behind camera um and and it was just not my intention at all to make it look suspicious or anything of the sort i had to guess the energy that was hit on the first pack in the beginning of the stream and sometimes it just doesn't get hit for you know, a, a longer period of time, it happens. Um, and but I 100% see how it looks on camera, and I've apologized for that numerous times. I spoke with the buyer, who's who's been a big buyer of mine, um, while I streamed. I've only been doing it for a few weeks now for Blake, but I've been on on but not for since 2020, 2021. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I didn't know if they're like it. It seemed like there was a little bit of like. Blake didn't want to say what happened or, or talk about what happened and and like I think even from what I've gathered talking to him or like DMing him like he 
he seems to not, like to think it was a scam. So I don't know if um, if he. No. I just figured maybe it was like I, pressure that was put on you guys to to hit certain numbers. Absolutely that or... not. I absolutely, absolutely not. Um, there's no pressure at all on okay. numbers. Um, we we do was our own like, games. We was make there our motivation own or anything? Screen. Was there like is there is absolutely there commission no paid? motivation? Okay, there's no like commission uh, paid out or anything. I, there there is up to a certain point, but it is difficult to reach that mark. I get paid hourly, so it was my okay. last stream after streaming yeah. with him for. That's the thing too. It was six just, weeks. it was weird to see that like it didn't make any sense to me why you would do that on like your final final stream. Absolutely, it was not my intention at all to to do that and. I, I absolutely see how it looks on camera, mm -hmm. but that was that was absolutely not my intention. I had the the pack in my hand. Okay. Um, I just moved the other one on stream, and that was laziness after being live for eight hours on my last one. I was not thinking about how that would look optic wise or to a buyer, and I should have been more aware um, that that's not okay. I should have just put the freaking pack down in my hand and just open the one on screen. Um, mm -hmm. And it was a stupid decision that as caused so much of an impact to the livelihoods of the people that worked for Blake, um, Blake himself, and and it's just it's just a lot, and I'm just trying to stay off social media to not look at everything. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I don't know what else there is for me to do. I've made a post about it, and I'm just getting a ton of messages and videos being made about the entire situation, and I spoke with the buyer. I spoke with whatnot. Um, I, I sent a, a message to whatnot. Uh, I just don't know what else there is for me to do. Um, it was not any involvement with Blake, and mm -hmm. there was no malicious intent with my action on stream. Uh, it was just an act of laziness, um, and I, I should have just put the packet in my hand down and just opened the one that was on the screen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Thank Thank you for for talking with me. Um, and I, I sent you a couple of messages. If there's if there's anything else um, that you want to add, then uh, then just send me a message. Uh, I think I sent you one to to both your Instagram accounts. Okay. And how did you find my number? Well, I, I just want to know. I I do a lot of uh, kind of like Pokemon detective work, so I'm, I'm just really good at finding phone numbers without okay. kind of giving too much away. The, the internet's okay. pretty pretty good. All right. Sorry, uh, sorry about this, but I, I do appreciate you talking to me. Yeah. All right. Take care.